What, four flags already? Uh, On gate six. Five or six. Actually. Is it that yeah, many? Yeah, we've had four in the first quarter, I know. This might be our first one here. I'll make it first down at 15. Back at the uh, Radford 28 yard. That was in the I formation. Clark and tailback in this formation. Oh. And the ball's fumbled. And it just laid there for a while. I believe Gate City may have been able to co cover it up. But Bowen couldn't get to it. Yeah. And Gate City does recover the, the fumble. So, it'll bring up second down. Number 28, 15. Not a real good exchange that time. I don't know where Bowen came out from under center a little early as the ball just didn't get up to him. Well, too, with that snow really coming down like it is now, it's... Yeah, now moisture on that football. Yeah. Devils go full house, two tight ends that put Miller in motion. They run it to Vaughn, running left, and he's tackled after he gains a couple yards down to the 25. One thing about Radford, they, they, they look to be pretty good tacklers, Mark. They, they form tackle well. Oh, yeah, that time, if he gets around the corner, if we get that man blocked on the corner, He's got some running room. Well, we're our, you know, we're our own worst enemy. We, yeah. Yeah, you know, we keep stopping ourselves down here inside the 25-yard line. Going to be third down at about 14. Devils again with a full house. Seth Clark in at the left type back spot as they put Dusty in motion. They fake it to Bond. They look downfield and... Did he get rid of it? Yeah, he threw it to the left side, incomplete. I nice think. incomplete. I couldn't see for the post. That's a little too much for a field goal, I would think. Yeah, good directional kick here to put it out of bounds on about the We're going to have a timeout asked for by Gate City. We'll take one, too. Uh, Blue Devils going to line up for a field goal here. 45 yards, and this is uh, adverse conditions. Fourth down, fourth down. Uh, but now Logan can hit it. Yeah, uh, yeah, he can the, hit the, it. Uh, getting the snap down is going to be the toughest part. Snap's a little high, and the snap is fumbled. Yeah. Oh, no. And the blue oh, was oh. Threw the ball up in the air, That's and it's been touchdown. intercepted. And I'm afraid that Radford is going to... Well, not get all the way to the end zone, but down to about the 15-yard line. Oh, that's a horrible mistake. You can't, you just got to foul on that there and take the loss. As uh, I believe it was Franklin that tried to throw it, and he just threw it right into the middle of the Bobcats, and that was, uh, give Logan Burke credit. He got downfield and, and able to finally make the stop, but... Uh, not until the Bobcats get it about the 10-yard line of the Blue Devils. It's kind of like, you know, the, we were talking about those games. You don't win them, you lose them. And yeah. that's one of those plays that can hit you. Yeah. yeah. Got to try to overcome this here and hold them out. Yeah. Where are we at, on the 15? Uh, uh, closer to the, well, it's going to be, by the time they penalize us, or what? whatever the penalty's for. Oh, well, they threw a flight. Well. I guess, because they surely didn't have the ball down there at the six-yard line. Huh. Well, so they have it on the six? Yeah, maybe they did. I don't know. Six, seven-yard line. Carter looks over the middle, now rolls to his left, and he is knocked out of the bounds short of the goal line, isn't he? Yeah, at the five. Yeah, four or five-yard line. They're pretty nice move, but they post everywhere you don't need them. <laughs> yeah. I know you need them for support, but not for the announcement. It'll be second down a goal from uh, that about, look like you were right, Mark, about the four-yard line. As they pitch it to Atkins, running to his right, Blue Devils hem him in and throw him for a loss at about the line of scrimmage. No game. And what do we got? Plays 
clock being stopped. Somebody must have took a timeout, probably Radford. Timeout, Radford will be back. We're back at Radford where the Bobcats will have it. Third down and goal, and I'm going to guess it's about the five-yard line. It is at the five-yard line. Well, they're trying to get some Trying to get something done to the clock here. Well, the time shouldn't be near as much on the clock, so I did because they didn't run it on a kickoff a while ago. So Radford's fortunate that they've got as much time as on the board right now. And they did put more time back on the clock at 42 seconds. 42. Third down to go. They have a wide out on the left. Williams standing back. Carter rolls his left, gets some pressure from Gate City, throws the ball into the end zone. Incomplete Alabama. Yeah. Made the catch, but Alabama. Yeah. So it's going to bring up fourth down and go. And looks like they are going for a field goal attempt, it looks like. Findlay does the, I think it's Findlay 14. Yeah, Findlay is the kicker. He's going to have a pretty good angle. I watched him down in warm-ups, but the other angle, Mark, he hit the, hit the field goal pretty good. He's going to be at the hash mark on the far side. 22-yard field goal attempt. And they line up where they shift their lineman back in position. Do not rush. There's the snap. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. good. So, with 30 seconds to go here in the first half, a new score, Gate City 17, Radford 10. 30 seconds to go in the first half of the ball game as uh, Radford just took advantage of a Gate City turnover on the attempted field goal where the uh, snap was bobbled, and then we tried to throw it. And Radford picked it off and ran it down the field and eventually kicked a uh, Blue Devils held them uh, three times inside the uh, five-yard line or around the five-yard line. Yeah, for them to get three points out of that's a victory for Gates City. Yes. I mean, it really is. So Findlay, the guy that kicked the field goal here, will uh, kick off. Back deep for Gates City is going to be uh, Vaughn and Morris. As Finley hits it, a low bounder that bounces off of Gate City. Uh, I heard whistles. I heard whistles before he kicked. Did you? Yes, I did. I think the Blue Devils may have recovered any. Yeah, there's a flag over here. Must have been offside. Offside zone, Radford. Okay. I knew I heard whistle that time. And offside on Radford. They kicked it right off of Seth Clark's legs, but he was able to fight for it and pick it up. But the offsides killed the play. Yeah. It wasn't really an onside kick. No, it was just, just a low kick. It went right at Seth and hit him down below the knee. Yeah. yeah. Kick like that, it might not be so bad to let that first line let that go. Yeah. You know, unless, I mean, a line drive like that. So they back him up five yards. Make him re-kick it. Bentley approaches. This time kicks a high end over end kick at Vaughn Fields on the line drive at about the 15. Running to his left, gets some blocks on the corner, heads down the far sideline and is brought down in Bobcat territory. I'm going to say inside the 40. Down into Bobcat territory. There's 15 seconds to go here in the first, uh, first half. Huh? Don't look for Gate City to do much more than hand it off right here. First quarter blown to us, and second quarter kind of blown to Radford. And, uh, you know, we we hurt ourselves a lot. There yeah, we did. In, we that, had, in that half, we had a couple of penalties that stalled the drive there, yeah. and then it tried to go for that field goal and really messed things up. Blue Devils will line up. In the shotgun with Bowen in the shotgun. Three wide outs on the right side. Throw a little 
pass that is incomplete as Bowen really just kind of threw it away. They had it played pretty good. They had the short man covered and the deep man covered, and Bowen just threw it in an area where there wasn't anybody. Yeah. So it'll be second down to 10. Seven seconds to go. First half, Gate City on top, 17-10. That was go with Bowen back under center. Full house this time. They hand off to Clark running out of the left type back spot. He gains a couple down to 35, and that'll probably be the last play of the half. It is. At half time, Gate City leads Rafford by a score of 17 to 10. We're back at uh, Radford, about ready to uh, get the opening kickoff for the second half. You just joined us, Gate City leads Radford 17 to 10. Like Mark said, if you were didn't hear the first half, the first quarter belonged to Gate City. The second quarter, Gate City helped Bradford out a little bit, and they came out uh, and scored uh, 10 points in the second quarter. Yeah, the uh, one thing about it, Mark, the field conditions are getting worse. Oh yeah, there's no. Yeah, it's the field completely snow covered now. Uh, yeah, there's a good inch of snow on the field. I mean, you know, it's uh, like you said, it's getting worse, and conditions, uh, you know, are only going to get worse. Uh, and probably as the afternoon goes on, um, th this is important. First four or five minutes, right here, the yeah. Blue Devils are going to get the football first. And uh, uh, the Blue Dogs are going to get the football first, and it's critical that we uh, take care of it and, uh, you know, uh, obviously be great to get down and get points on the board. Right. And at worst, uh, flip the field on them and pin them back if you don't uh, yeah. get any, any points on it. But uh, we were discussing the halftime where – thought Finley might actually uh, kick on sides to start the second half here, and I think it's a consensus here in the booth that we figure he'll kick it deep. Smart thing to do. Back deep for the Blue Devils on the uh, near side will be uh, Joseph Vaughn. In the middle will be Montana Morrison. On the far side will be Dustin Clark. And Caleb Finley will kick off here for Radford to uh, start this ball game. We're uh, two quarters away from one team going to the uh, state championship. And that, score, that, score we heard here at halftime, Gretna leads in their game. 21-14. So here we go. That's a line drive kick. That Vaughn is going to feel somewhere about the 10. Running to his left, looking for a block. And finally didn't pick up much yardage. He's thrown down, I believe, inside the 20 at about the 18. Yeah, that's where he'll be. That kick, you got a field and head straight up field. Yeah, he tried to run it across the field. Across the field, and that's hard to do. It's hard to do on a good day. That should have been ran up the field most likely. So Gate City will be, <laughs> I like what the announcer said. He said on the 20 perhaps. I don't think it's at the 20. No, it's about the 18 yard line. Yeah, that's what I got. The first and 10 for Gate City at the 18. Devils will come out with split backs, wing back on the uh, left side, tied in on the left side, and they run it with Vaughn going left. He breaks a couple of tackles and gets pretty good yardage gain. It looks like maybe seven on the play. Yeah. And looks like Radford has a player down, looks like with a cramp. Yeah, possibly a leg cramp, and he's able to get up. He's able to get up. It wasn't a bad one, I'll say no, that. I <laughs> He's able to get up that quick. That was Corey Dart. Gain of uh, about eight on the play. Makes it second down and two. Long two. Same formation for Gate City. Same play. And this time Vaughn has Same his first ball. down. Uh, a little big, bigger gain than yeah. he had the first time, really. He's up across the 35 to about the 36 yard line, I think. Yep, 36 yard line's where it'll be. We're putting all ours over there. They're putting all theirs on that side. You know, it's, yeah. 
we've won the first two battles. Right, cheers for you. Uh, your offensive line is um, not that they're important, but you you win it right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, on a day like today, well, any day, but the offensive line's got to take this game over. They've done a good job. They put Miller in motion. And off the bond again, running left and gets good yardage again. Picks up about eight. Yep. That ought to be at about the uh, 44 yard line. So we found some something to do on the left hand side. We, uh, we have a tight end on that side. We put her back in motion. And we're unbalanced. And unbalanced that strong side. side. I mean, we've only got. Uh, Three people to the right hand side of the center total. Full house this time with uh, double tight end. Hand off to Clark behind blockers and he holds on to the football, gets his first down. Yep. As the snow has uh, really fallen. Well, Bucky's at about the 48, maybe. Gate City 48. First down. From our own, I can't hit. No, it's... Uh, the signs are even getting covered on the other end of the field. First and 10 to Blue Devil 48. That's three straight first down. Yeah. As the Devils change their formation this time, come with a wide out on the left side and go out of the power eye with Dusty Clark at the tailback spot. They hand off to Clark, running left. He looks for a block on the corner and he's submarine on a good tackle that time by Mitchell. Yeah. Came up from his his cornerback uh, spot. It's one of those that if he can you know, plant a foot, he's probably got big yardage, which just you know, he can't do it. Field conditions won't allow. Now, that's the first time they've stopped us on first down. Yep. This, this half. Uh, see if we can, uh, we've got second and long or we've had second two or three. This time we go back to uh, Formation with the uh, wing back on the left. And off to Bond, running left. And he fights forward for maybe three yards to, your, to midfield. So it's going to bring up third down and long for Gate City, about third and seven. We run to the short side of the field. We set our formation strength to the short side of the field. Third down and seven for Gate City. This time we go with our strength to the wide side of the field. And we put her back in motion. We hand off to Vaughn running right. He gets a block oh. and he's going to be close Short. to a first down. Short though, but we'll go for it. It's going to be about a yard short, like Mark said. Oh, I thought he was going to be able to reach out there and get it, but we got, we're going for this. Uh, you know. <laughs> it's four. PA guy said a legal procedure and the referee waved him off. First time I've ever seen a referee wave him off. It's fourth and less than a yard. Well, maybe a full yard. It's hard to tell. Big play coming up right here. Big play. You're absolutely right. Big play in the ball game. You turn it over here, you give Radford good field position. You pick it up, you keep your drive going. And deflate them just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That was go to a power eye. Unbalanced to the left. And a handoff to Clark running left, and he's got his first down sports fan. Yep. Sure does. Gets it down to about the 48, I think. Well, yeah, okay. Signal first down, he does. So it's somewhere around the uh, 40 yard line. Is it on the 40? I believe it is. 50. Well, you may be right. It's a 40 or 45. It's uh, hard to tell. But we know we're on their end of the field. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> but all we can tell. We got a wide out on the left. Go for split backs, and we have a help officials' time now. You're to repair a Radford help. Well, that's a good way to break somebody's momentum. I guess. Yeah, good way to give him a little rest. Yep. And I shouldn't say that. He's obviously got a helmet problem. As a matter of fact, he's got to come out of the game. That's dark. It's coming in. Yeah. He's the uh, inside linebacker, Corey Dark. Replaced in the lineup by number 12, Timmy Worlds. Big 
first to 10 Gate City. At the, uh, about the 40 of Radford. We go to the wing back set on each side. Now we put the wing back Clark in motion. Hand off to Vaughn running left. He makes a move. He's got 10, he's got 12, he's got a first down. That should be down around the 30, yeah, maybe 30 yard line. Yeah. Hey, I don't know, it's at the 30. Yeah, we Two won't. or three yard line, it's somewhere between the 30 and 35. That's really the only thing that makes any difference now is uh, when we get down to that when orange that official pylon. raises both arms. <laughs> get down to that orange pylon, that's what matters. Right now it's first and ten. The Devils again with double wings. One to each side, strong side to the left. Put Clark in motion to the left. Hand off to Vaughn on a quick opener, and he only gets a yard or so off of right guard, right tackle. We, we had him set up for that, didn't we? Yeah, set we up. did. We'd run that way off of that same set a time or two, and that defensive tackle on that side, which I think is Saunders, did a good job of uh, fighting off a block. Still a gain of about two. I'm going to say it's a 38. We go split backs, wing back on the left, strong side uh, to the left-hand side, and off to Vaughn running left. He fights through some tackles and spins for yardage. And he, he gains about four on that play. Clock runs halfway through the third quarter. Gate City leading 17 to 10. This is just what the doctor ordered, but we've got to finish it with six points. Got to put points on the board at the end. Yeah. If you'll move that yard marker so I can kind of guess at what we got. Looks like we're going to have a third down and about four here coming up. Now yeah, we've got two downs to get it if we need it. Main thing's not lose yardage right here. Right. We go with. Uh, Split backs, wing back on the right, strong side to the right. They shift their defense to the right. We hand off to Dusty Clark, and he's got a first down, sports fan. Down, oh, yeah. I'm going to say about the 20. That's good for eight, nine yards on the carry. So it's first and 10 Blue Devils, and I don't have any idea where it's at. <laughs> it's somewhere <laughs> outside the goal line. <laughs> That's about all I can tell you. It's, uh, Let's see. There's, I'd say it looks like maybe the 15. 40, 30. You stretch those things over there. Under the yard marker is 10 yards, and you don't. He's about the 18, yeah, maybe. Yeah, about the 18, like I think. First and 10 on the Redford 18. This time we go full house. Tight end to each side. Yeah. Bowen under center. And we put Seth Clark in motion from right to left. Hand off to Vaughn. He fights for yardage and gets three or four yards. Yep. Tony, if we don't stop our sales, they haven't stopped us all day. No, no. Down Gains. to five minutes to go in the third quarter. Let's see how much gain he got. Looks like he gained about four. He's gonna bring up second down and six. That should put it down around the 14 yard line. The snow gets harder. Yes, it does. This time we go back to the pair eye with a wide out on the left. We hand off to Dusty Clark running left and we'll see a flag I yeah. Dag gum it. That beats we get one of those key spots and have a flag. Unless it's a face mask, and I don't think it is. Be good if it was. Holding Gate City. So the Blue Devils will be backed up 10 yards. That'll probably move it back to the 24, I guess. Lordy, Lordy. We have had one just about on every drive. Yep. It's gonna make it second down and should be about 14. Back at the 24. Second down, 16. Second down, 16. Now make it second down, 16. Double wing set. Put a wing back on the left side of motion. Clark on the keeper. That quarterback looks for a block on the corner and doesn't get anything. We move Clark in under center. And it
it's going to be might have gained a yard. I'm not sure. It might not have gained any. Might have lost a yard. Looked like.